I'm Katie Barrett for Recode.net. Apple's latest operating system, iOS 8, wants to solve all of your problems. Not in a I'm a shrink kind of way, in an I know what you want on your iPhone kind of way. Apple has been thinking about this for a while, and they really seem to go through a list and check off all of the issues that you might have with your iPhone. I broke my column down into four favorite sections. First, I like Apple's new Tap to Talk feature. This is a new way to send text messages. Instead of sending something like a speech to text message where you talk into the phone and it converts your voice to words, it actually lets you talk into a microphone and send your voice, an actual audio file of you speaking to somebody else. Hey, this is a test of a new feature called Tap to Talk. Hey, this is a test of a new feature called Tap to Talk. This is really delightful to get. You actually hear your friends' voices for the first time in a long time. I've gotten really tired of looking at emoji icons and exclamation points that are supposed to represent my friends' emotions. So this was really fun to use, and I think people will get the hang of it pretty quickly. You can do the same thing with videos by holding down a camera icon. But just be careful, as soon as you let go, the video will send to someone else, and that might be good or bad. The second thing that I really like in iOS 8 is that it's faster for navigating around your phone. There are lots of ways that this happens. For example, if you get a text and you're using a program like Facebook, you used to have to switch over to text messages to respond. Now you can just tug down from the top of the screen, type your reply, and then keep going with whatever you were doing in Facebook, for example. Another thing that I really like about iOS 8 is reachability. This is the ability to take your phone, now these are bigger screens so your thumb might get tired, and tap twice on the home button. You're not touching down, you're just tapping. Suddenly the screen will slide towards you because it's oh so much work for your thumb to stretch all the way to the top of that screen iOS 8 also does a good job of getting you to see apps that are relative to where you are. On your lock screen, it will suggest an app. For example, my office is near a Dunkin' Donuts, and when my phone was in lock, I saw a little Dunkin' Donuts icon pop up in the bottom left corner of my screen. I could slide up on this and immediately open the Dunkin' Donuts app. In an email, you can slide to the right and mark any message as unread, which can really help you if you're like me and you're constantly forgetting which emails you have and have not replied to. The third feature that I really like in iOS is Family Share. This is now the ability to share your iTunes account with your entire family, which could be good or bad considering what kind of music you listen to. When you're setting up a new phone, you're prompted to do this and one family member perhaps the person who's most responsible, is chosen as the family organizer. This person pays for everybody else's purchases, including things from iTunes, iBooks, and the App Store. And parents who are nervous about their kids' purchases can choose to approve things that their kids are buying. It happens automatically for any kid that's under the age of 13, and it's an option for parents with kids who are younger than 18 years old. The final feature that I really like about iOS is continuity. This is not coming out until the new Yosemite operating system, which will be released next month from Apple, but it allows you to keep phone conversations going, starting them on your Mac computer and then continuing them on your iPhone. So when you leave the room, you don't have to end a phone conversation. This sounds kind of futuristic and it works really easily. I tried it out on several calls. Another feature of continuity is that you can start working on any app like Safari or Mail, and then you can continue right where you left off on your phone. This kind of seamless integration makes a lot of sense. Apple made your computer at your desk, and they also made your phone, so these guys should talk to each other. There are lots of features that I couldn't even cover, including new group chat features and photo editing features, and even an improved speech to text, which immediately shows you your words as you're talking them on your iPhone screen. But you'll probably download this new update and see for yourself. It's available to download starting Wednesday morning, and it will work on six iPhones, going back to the 4S, six different iPads, and the latest iPod. I'm Katie Barrett for Recode.net.